Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Color of Jesus. What's the color of Jesus? Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Let's get that revelation. Jesus Christ. Jesus is, Christ is the is, color. Is that he looks like you? Okay. He doesn't look like Ibrahim. He doesn't look like a white man, the so Dutch, the, the, the English. The, the pictures circulating that Jesus black uh -huh. or white. Uh, is it true that is white or is it true that is black? Let's see what the Bible says. Give me that in Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Okay. This is the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Listen close because we are not being taught correctly in our churches. We are not being taught correctly uh, by these pastors and ministers. Listen to what the Bible says. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This means the revealing of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is going to be revealed to you tonight. What is this? 89.5? You're going, to be, you're going to see tonight what Jesus Christ looks like. Read. Okay. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. This was given so that we could see what would happen, the future, and what was going on. Jump to verse 12. Verse 12. Read verse 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. This was done. He was on, he was on the, in the Sabbath day. He was on the Lord's day when he seen these things. Verse, read on. And heard behind me a great voice he heard behind him a great voice jesus christ speaking read as of a trumpet come on saying i am alpha and omega read the first and the last and what thou seest write in a book now listen we got to pay attention because we haven't been taught to pay attention in church they just say sing dance clap your hands that's it you have to learn what you're being taught learn the words of god he says he saw being turned he saw read and sent it unto the seven churches which are in Asia. So he told him, what you see, write it in a book. You see with your eyes, correct? Okay. He's going to write down what he saw. Read mm -hmm. on. Unto Ephesus and Smyrna, mm -hmm. and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And he turned to see, you see with your eyes, the voice okay. that spake with him. Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. He saw seven golden candlesticks. He saw a menorah, okay? Many of our brothers got it on their shirts. You see, on his sleeve. Read. Okay. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. And standing in front of that menorah. Read. One like unto the Son of Man. He said he saw one like unto the Son of Man. He saw Jesus Christ standing there. Okay. Now, I want you to tell me, when we're about to read, does it look like this guy or this guy? Okay. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had a garment that went all the way down to his feet. A long garment. Read. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. He had a golden girdle, a golden belt. Come on. His head and his hair. The hairs on his head and the hair, his facial hair. Read. Were white like wool. It was white and woolly. He's woolly textured. Okay. What people on the face of the earth have woolly textured hair? Mm. Is it this man or is it this man? Okay. You tell me, which one? Okay, those watching on Facebook uh, will get the clear picture of what uh, we are talking about. Uh, there are two pictures here, which is identify Jesus Christ. It's not white, but rather Jesus, class, Jesus Christ is black. Mm -hmm. But what you are saying, okay, then continue. So who has woolly hair, brother? You tell me, whose hair looks like wool, looks like sheep's wool? Woolly textured hair, yours. 
Not this stringy-haired white man, but what? A black man, according to the Bible. Now watch this. Read on. His head and his hairs were white like wool, Read. as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire, fulfilling the prophecy that Christ would drink wine. But come on. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Now he looked down at his feet. He's, he's writing down what he saw with his eyes. Okay. He looked down at his feet. Now come on. Like unto fine brass. Like if I was to look down at this brother's feet right here, guess what? I can tell what color he is, right? Yes. It says Jesus Christ's feet look like fine brass. What color is brass, brother? You tell me. What color? When you look at brass, what color is it? It's brown. Yes. It's not white. Okay. It's brown. Yeah. But read on. Watch this. As if they burned in a furnace. Now, when you take that brass and you put it in a furnace and burn it, it gets even darker. Jesus Christ was a very, very dark man. He was not Ebruni. This person, this image that you've been given is the devil that the Bible speaks of. He is not Jesus Christ. With this image came different theologies, different doctrines, lies pressed upon our people to confuse us further so that we would know that we are the children of Israel. You follow me, brother? Yes, please. Uh, let me explain one or two to our listeners. Ebiya uti samri na ebiya fena odi ato hanuma yene Israel united in Christ in Asia. Na omaya anhu se Jesus Christ a ye black name Jesus pictures a ye hunu wa monte na o ye a ye brunino a ye onu a name a ye devil a no hong koma ena oni ye di na wa u u Facebook unzo a ubeti mi anko hanuma kuhim fu ni na hodona. Ye di a Google Honor Mona or more who say yes. In some or canoe was also a quote to a yes scriptures, you know. Quotations are hold our day are touching some or canoe. I'm a one who say no cry and a all can. I think those uh, having the perception that Jesus is white, what are you going to tell them or to clear that perception from their minds? First John chapter four and verse one. Beloved, believe not every spirit. So the Bible said, believe not every spirit. Okay. Believe not every spirit. Read. But try the spirits. But try the spirit. Mm -hmm. Before you believe it, try it first. Okay. See where that, see where that stand. Try it first. Read. Mm -hmm. Whether they are of God. Whether that spirit is of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. There is many false prophets. Today we got another Jesus been presented to us. You have to tell us here in Africa, okay. we are the only people in the world who do not worship a God who look like us. Do you mm. know that? Yes. White people worship this guy, white Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, Chinese people worship Buddha, Buddha. look like them. Okay. Uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, you got Indian people worship Krishna, look like them, a God with a bunch of hand. Black people, we are the only one in the planet Earth. Here in the continent of Africa, here in, in Ghana, we worshiping it. We've been worshiping a God that do not look like us. They, that's a problem. That's a problem. Read. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. What does that mean? Jesus Christ died on the cross. Because I know what people here in Ghana said. Nobody know what Jesus look like. Jesus Christ is a spirit. Well, can you kill a spirit and put him in a cross? Mm -hmm. No. You're going to have to, uh, you have to have the flesh, right? Oh, yeah. What was the color of the, what was the color of his flesh? That's what we just read in Revelation, okay. chapter 1, verse 14. He was a black man. And he's still a black man. He don't change. That's he's right. still a black man. Read. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. So if your church is telling you, Nobody know what color Jesus Christ is. They're lying. If your church is telling you Jesus is a spirit, they're lying to you. That's why they say believe him not. So Jesus Christ came in the flesh. He died in the flesh. And he went back to the Father into heaven in the flesh. And he's still alive in the flesh. That's right. Anybody who tell you different, they're a bunch of lies. Yes, you pastors are a bunch of lies. You Catholic church is a bunch of lies. You Christian church is a bunch of liars. That's what that is saying. Now give me Second Corinthians right quick. No. You finish that? No, sir. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Yes, you pastors, you church, are a bunch of Antichrist. They don't believe in the Bible. They're Antichrist. Because the Bible says Jesus is a black man. I know some of you say right now, it doesn't matter what color it is. Okay. Uh, what is guy named Sinkara? What is guy name over here? Uh, 
Thomas, um, no, um, Kwame Kuma. Kwame Kuma. Yeah, does it matter what, what color Kwame Kuma is? Yes, it does. What color is Kwame Kuma? Black. No, he's white. Qu no, Kwame Kuma is black. Are you sure? Yes, please. Kwame uh, Kuma is black. You sure? Because they said Jesus Christ does, color doesn't matter. If Jesus Christ doesn't matter, why, why color, uh, Kwame Kuma, Kuma, Kuma color is matter? Guess what? Color is matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Color is matter. That's the point. Yes, I know Kwame Kuna is black, <laughs> but the point is, color is matter. When they give you this, this is not Jesus. Okay. That's the devil. One more scripture. Give me second, second question right quick. There's still more on that. Deep. Whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. So the, the Antichrist is already in the world. That's your pastors. That's your churches. That's your Pope. You Catholic churches. Those are the Antichrist because they don't believe in the Bible. Why? Because they give you this man where, they, where in the Bible you cannot prove this is Jesus. We just so, prove so, to who, you. Who, who is this man? I'm, well, we're going to tell you. Okay. We just prove to you in the Bible Jesus is a black man. Now, when you go to church Sunday, ask your pastor what color Jesus. Go ahead. We read 2 Corinthians 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. That's another Jesus. <laughs> the apostles. The apostle Paul. They never teach you Jesus. Our forefathers never teach you Jesus. They give you this Jesus in slavery. Okay. That's when they give you this. Okay. That's not the Jesus of the Bible. Mm. This is the devil the Bible speaks of. Read. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus whom we have not preached. You see that? We have not preached that Jesus. Read. Or if he receive another spirit. Because you have, because you have this Jesus been introduced to you, this also come with other spirit, another spirit. What is that other spirit? You got homosexuality. You got to say, oh, Jesus Christ died for everybody. Oh, you got a white Jesus going to come in heaven and save the black man? No. So are you saying the same men, the same white men who have been robbing the Galilean for centuries? Who been trying to kill the Galilean for centuries? Rape, steal, steal all you go, steal all you backside, steal all you cocoa. He's going to come in heaven to save you? That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen, brothers and sisters. Yes. You are in La La Land, wake up. That's not going to happen. Read. Or if you receive another spirit, which you have not received, or another gospel. Another gospel. <laughs> the other gospel is what? Jesus Christ love everybody. Jesus Christ died for everybody. Jesus Christ is white. That's another gospel. That is not in the Bible. So, so, so uh, those having uh, this kind of picture at their church premises <coughs> or having this kind of They picture, should burn them. They should burn? Burn them, yes. <laughs> if you have a, cross, a big cross in your church right now with this, burn it. Okay. Uh, let me do this uh, oh, oh. explanation. Then you come in. Ebi ana uti esamre ya. Mpenifoi amaya huse. Ebi a uya sofo na uti juma diena na uwonfo ni bi wa udem anase wa sharifie o wa ye picture si bi wa hano mwa na ye ni na ye nimse ye Jesus Christo ni mfo ni na enye Jesus mfo ni na mum ye devil. Would you actually have what do you call say him? Name of Jesus or your black, say me, or your black, say what with you, Jesus and yet Nipa Coco. And two were down for Nini Bua with their mind, a free nail corner. Oh, was supposed, sir, a young for Nina, a devil mum and a dinachi, and yet Jesus Christ and a dinachi. Yani Israel united in Christ as a financial, or much of Conoc Massa Quartier Center. Do you number with ABA Jumadino? Open so normal bon coma. Number near 0207. 442 316 and now say 0540 any number now samsung facebook uh, united in christ israel united in christ ghana and at www.israelunite.org will be to me a no more at in kitahu a uh this picture which one this one this one the devil yeah. the devil yes per what you are saying the devil yes the devil <laughs> what the bible says that's, that's the, bible what the bible says. says that's what the bible is saying yes mm -hmm. we we all know is a jesus christ but but what you are saying means he's not the real jesus we are all knowing w w was he born was he having a family who this, this guy yes yeah that guy his name Sussurable. is Cicero Borgias he was what, son what of the Pope, name? 
Cesare Borgia. He was the son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. Mm -hmm. That's who Da Vinci painted as the image From which of Christ. I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. From which country? Let's see, he's a freaking Roman. Born September 13th, 1475. Okay. He is not Jesus. He's an imposter. We're dealing with the biggest case of identity theft the world has ever seen. Imagine them painting Kwame Kuma as a white man. Is this guy right? Hold that up. And telling everyone in the world, look, Kwame Kuma, Kwame Kuma. Now all your children are yelling, Kwame Kuma, Kwame Kuma, pointing at him, pointing at him. It's a lie. We've been fooled. The reason why they did that is so that you would forget, just like if they did it to Kwame, that you would forget his works, his words, and what he's done. Give me real quick, give me Revelations 13. I'm going to show you what this is. Okay. Revelations, the 13th uh, uh, chapter. After reading the scripture, uh, when we talk of the Negros, mm -hmm. what is the Negros? The Israelites, those the Negros. whose ancestors were in the uh, slavery uh, the scripture, slave ships. Then uh, we come to the Negros. The, you talking about color? You, you said read no. the scripture and we're going to come to the Negros. Oh, okay, got okay. you, got you. Go Continue ahead. With the, this is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth. By the means of those miracles. The white man was able to do miracles. He brought fire down from heaven and everybody bowed to the white man because he what? Nuked the earth. Everyone worshipped him and followed him. Come on. Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Uh -huh. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. Hold that up. What did they do? They said, you know what? We're going to make an image to the beast. Why? Because America has caused the whole world to worship Rome again. Go ahead. Which had the wound by a sword and did live. And did live. Read on. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The white man had power to give life to this image, who's a false image. They made movies. They read. They, they wrote books. They put posters everywhere. They got his name all on your face. They put his face in the churches. They put him all over the world to what? Deceive you. Come on. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. What came with that image? Lying Christianity. The Christianity that you know in these churches today is not what Jesus Christ taught. It is not the doctrine of Christ. And that's what that image was speaking. Lies. And anyone who did not follow or worship this image was killed. They was murdered. Okay. This is the history of this image right here. Our people have to wake up to this knowledge. Now you said you wanted to get to the Negroes, right? Yes. You understand that's the devil, brother? No. That is the <laughs> devil, brother. I know you've been in church your whole life and think this is okay. God, but he looks like you. Mm. You have to erase these images and believe what you read in the Bible because that's the only way we're going to get salvation. Stop listening to man. Stop listening to what man said. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This Let's get into the history real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So remember, when Moses brought the Israelites out of Egypt, the Most High brought Israel out by Moses' hand. Guess what? God told Moses, listen, if this people do not do what I say, if they don't commit the, keep the commandments, they're going to receive curses, bruh. These curses in Deuteronomy 28 chapter show you who you are today. Now I want you to tell me who did these curses happen to? Get that. Verse 68. Verse, verse, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now it says the Lord is going to bring us into Egypt. What was Egypt? What was happening in Egypt when the Israelites left Egypt? Slavery. Slavery. They served as slaves there with brick and mortar. Hard bondage with rigor. Now he said, I'm going to bring you into slavery again, but this time you're going to go with what? Ships. Ships. What people on the face of the earth went into slavery with slave ships? Only your people. It didn't happen to the white man. That didn't happen to the Chinese man. That didn't happen to the East Indian man. Only your people. Now, wait a minute. God said that these curses were going to be a sign to show you who the Israelites are. Why don't the Israelites know who they are today? Because we don't read. It says what? And, they sh and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. Read. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee. 
thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there. And there, once you reach the destination on those ships, come on. You shall be sold unto your enemies. It says we will be what? Sold unto your enemies. But I need help. It says that those people will be put on slave ships and sold unto their enemies, the other nations. Who did that happen to? Who went into slavery with ships and were sold to their enemies? Read. For bond men. Slave men. And bond women. Slave women. Who did that happen to, bro? Only your people. But we've been disconnected, disassociated from the Bible, told that we were Negroes and not Israelites, told that we're Gentiles and not the children of Israel, and now we're in all manner of confusion. Read on. And no man shall buy you. In this confusion, many people have tried to save us. Many people have tried to, like you had those that rose up in the Americas. You had your Malcolm X's, you had your Marcus Garvey's, you had your Martin Luther King's. Over here, you had Kwame Kumar, one of the ones that tried to stand up and bring the nation together. But what's happened? Ain't nothing worked. God said no man's going to be able to save us from these conditions. Only Jesus Christ. Real quick, give me verse 48. Verse 48. Do it on. 28. Oh, you want me to translate that? Or just oh, yeah, you want to translate? I'm sorry. I know we're going. Hello, Major. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. When we talk of uh, slave routes, mm -hmm. uh, that one, what does it mean? And where is uh, it come from, that the, slave route? The slave routes, you're talking about for the transatlantic slave trade, is how they got us from here to the Americas. And it was prophesied to happen in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, in the 68th verse. Those slave ships, God sent those ships because we didn't keep the commandments. Just like we don't keep the commandments today. We allow pastors to tell us things and we don't validate it with the scripture. We just believe what pastor said and pastor believe what master said. We have to come back to the word of God and believe on him as it is written. There's no other way. Let me read that for you. Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee mm. among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. We was taken from the west coast of Africa, from the from southern region of Africa as well, put on slave ships and brought to South America, Central America, brought to North America. We was taken to the UK, scattered throughout the whole world. That's the transatlantic slave trade. But your ministers don't know this history because they listen to the white man, the so-called devil who's trying to hide your history and hide where you come from. And there's more proof of that because you have Elmina Castle right here off of Cape Coast, right? You have Elmina Castle. You have all these, all these different forts, slave forts, okay. that still exist here in this region. Mm -hmm. So the proof of the Bible is still here. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is open but, your but, eyes. But do you believe in the Bible? Absolutely. We're Absolutely. Reading the Bible. We're reading the Bible. Do you believe in Bible? Absolutely. But we had Bible from uh, foreigners, the white people. You have the Bible for the foreigners? Yes. What Bible is that? From the foreigners. Oh, you said you, we received the Bible yes, from the foreigners. Yeah, but they didn't write the Bible. The Bible was reintroduced to us in mm -hmm. slavery. The Most High used the so-called white man to preserve our records, and they missed, They took it, they misinterpreted it, gave us their, their understanding, but it's still our records. That's the, that's the genius of the Most High. Mm -hmm. The Most High used the white man to preserve it. Just think about it. All they had to do was burn it. Take every single last one and burn, burn it. Them, right. But God prevented them from doing that because God wants us to wake up now in these last days. Okay. Uh, when we talk of uh, tribes in Israel, mm -hmm. that one, any explanation to that one? The tribes in Israel. Yes. So what's happened is, remember, we, we're Israelites. Mm -hmm. Israel was a man. Okay, his name was first Jacob, but the Lord changed his name to Israel. Okay. Israel had 12 sons, which make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Matter of fact, give me Revelation 7. 
the prophecy is is that those 12 tribes in the last days are going to awaken to who they are. They're not going to call themselves Ghanaian anymore. They're not going to call themselves African American anymore. Okay. Dominican, Haitian, whatever, wherever they were scattered. They're going to come back to the knowledge and understanding that they are the children of Israel and they are not Gentiles. Okay. Revelation chapter 7, please. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 4. Read. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed in hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Come on. Of the of the of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand. Twelve thousand from Judah. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed twelve thousand. Twelve thousand from Reuben. Come on. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed twelve thousand. So as you read on, it goes down through all twelve tribes of the children of Israel. You have the elect men that are being selected that's gonna lead the rest of the nation. What we need to find out right now and come to the understanding and what we're showing you is that you are those 12 tribes. You are the hidden mystery of the earth. And it's time to wake up. We got to come back. I got a scripture for you, dude. Go ahead. Okay. This is Hosea chapter 1 and verse, let's start at verse 11. Mm. No, verse 10. It says, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Why? Because we've, we've been scattered throughout the whole earth, and there's a whole lot of us, bro. There's a whole lot of Israelites. Come on. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. It's impossible to number us, to count every last Israelite. Read. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Right here in Ghana, it was said unto you that you are not God's people. You went on to believe that that image was Jesus and that all his people look like him, that the Jews look like him. Guess what? In this place, it's going to... Read on. I'm sorry. There it shall be said unto them... Right here in Ghana, come on. Ye are the sons of the living God. God. Hear the word of the Lord. You are the sons of the living God. All of you citizens of Ghana, those of you all whose ancestors descend from the slave trade, whose families was taken to a faraway land and made into slaves, you are the children of Israel. Verse 11. Come on. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered that. together. You see Bible prophecy come into place now because now we're waking up. Right now, that's why we're here right now in Ghana to bring this message to you. Because guess what? There's brothers in Accra. There's brothers here in Kumasi. There's brothers in Liberia. There's brothers scattered all throughout the earth in the Americas. We pretty much have a congregation, a church in almost every city over there. In the UK, all throughout South, uh, Central and South America, all throughout the world, the Israelites are waking up to who they are. Ghana, it's your turn. And the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, mm -hmm. and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Guess who that one appointed is going to be? Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. Not this Ebony. Jesus Christ, the man that looks like you, the black Messiah that the Bible has prophesied to come. You want to translate that? There you Do go. You remember all translate that? Translate that. And, um... <laughs> of Israel today, I, I see uh, we have Judah from Negros and Benjamin from West Indian and uh, Rubin here and also uh, Neftali and uh, 12 tribes here. Can you give me where uh, they are all from? The tribes of uh, Israel today. This paragraph here. You want to know where they're scattered at? Where, where they're from? 
Go ahead. Where are they from? Oh, Genesis. Genesis. Yeah. Genesis, ahead. the 49th chapter. Ooh. Let's let's look at uh, let's look at the easy one. Let's look at uh, Levi and uh, Simeon. Okay. Genesis. Chapter Genesis. 49. Genesis chapter 49 is okay. a map. Mm -hmm. Is a map that Jacob, our forefather Jacob, mm -hmm. his name changed to Israel. Before he died, he called all his son. Which verse one? Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter forty-nine and verse one. And Jacob called unto his sons. Jacob and, called all his twelve sons. Read and said, "Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days." So Jacob, our forefather, called all his twelve sons. Judah. Benjamin, Levi, Naphtali, Simeon, uh, Ephraim. He called them together. He said, come, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to in the last day. In other words, I'm going to tell you what part of the earth you're going to be scattered in the last day. So he left a map. That's a map. We're going to read to you two tribes of those 12. Okay. Go ahead. This is verse 5. Simeon and Levi, or brethren. Simeon and Levi. Levi is a so-called Haitian today. Simeon is a so-called Dominican today. You notice he said, our brothers. All, to, all 12 of them was brothers. They are brothers. Yes, but why he mentioned Simeon and Levi are brothers? Because in the last days, the so-called Haitian, the so-called Dominican, they're going to be in the same land. They're going to end up in the same island. Okay. That's what they are. When you look at the Haitians mm -hmm. and Dominican, they are in the same island. They are also same island. Same island, yes. Okay. They're in the same island. Read. Simeon and Levi or brethren, instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. Instrument of cruelty are in their habitation. What the instrument of cruelty today is called voodoo. In Spanish it's called blue brujaria. Brujaria. And sansharia. So what did they do? They, the Haitian, they use voodoo, witchcraft, to kill their own brother. So he said, read that again. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. Uh-huh. Oh, my soul, come not thou into their secret. So he said, the rest of you do not follow the so-called Haitians and the so-called Dominican because what? Because of the voodoo that did that do it to kill their own brother or own sister. So he told the rest of the brothers, do not follow them. That's evil. Read. Unto their assembly, mine honor, be not thou united. So he said, Simeon and Levi... The so-called Haitian, the so-called Dominican, they're not going to unite it. They're in the same island, but they're two different. They are two different. Okay. When you look at Haiti, Haiti right now is the most is the is the the most uh, poorest country in the Western atmosphere. When you look at Santo Domingo, it's not. Mm -hmm. But they're in the same island. Something is not right. So he said in the last days, those two is not going to unite it. They're going to be divided. You're going to have Dominican on one side. You're going to have Haitian, Haitian on one side. One of them is poor. One of them is doing okay. That's exactly, that's the prophecy. Read, read one, that again. Go ahead. Go, we was going to say something. Yeah, one of them speaks French Creole. The other one speaks Spanish. That's a good they're point. Different, they're different right. in everything. It says... Uh, but, but they are all brothers. They yeah. are brothers, so they, yes. They, they, they are going to separate. They are, they are separate right now. Okay. One of, they don't even speak the same language. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Unto their assembly, mine honor, be not thou united. Be, do, do not united. They're too separate. Read. For in their anger, they slew a man. What is that talking about? That's talking about when you read the history, when they go to the land, their sister was raped by the so-called uh, Hamite, mm -hmm. and then they went, and they killed the Hamite. So that's what he's talking about. Read that again. For in their anger they slew a man, and in their self-will they dig down a wall. Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce, and their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Guess what? Because why? When you look at the so-called Haitian, remember the Haitian was the high priest. The Haitian scattered. That doesn't mean all the tribes are scattered. All of them scattered, but... The Haitian scatter, the so-called Dominican scatter. So that's the map to prove to you that the people over in Haiti, they are the tribe of Levi. They are Israelite. The people over in Santo Domingo, they are Simeon. They are the tribe of Simeon. That's the proof. Okay. Your guys in, in Ghana, your guys are, are the tribe of Judah. Majority of your guys in Ghana are the tribe of Judah. That's how we know where to go. That's, that's how we end up in Ghana. Because we know, without a shadow of a doubt, your guys here are the children of Israel. That's 
right. because of so, the so map. Ghanaians are from the tribe of Judah. From the tribe of Judah, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Because why? Because he just mentioned earlier about the place that got here, the slave on port. Yeah, Elmina Castle. I mean, a castle. They were taken from the slave port here, but what to the Americas? Okay. To the Amer to America. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So that's the proof that your guys here are uh, the tribe of Judah. The, 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 the also the Negroes, the so-called Negroes in America, they're also the tribe of Judah. Okay. That's the map that our forefathers left for us to know in the last days where Israel lies was going to be. Okay, I have another scripture. Go ahead. Joshua 15, verse 20, and then we're going to jump to verse 42. Joshua chapter 15, verse 20. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah. Notice what Deacon said. He said the people here from the tribe of Judah. Okay, so this is the inheritance of the tribe of Judah. Go ahead. According to their families. According to their families, verse 21. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah mm -hmm. toward the coast of Edom mm -hmm. southward mm -hmm. were Kavzil mm -hmm. and Ibder mm -hmm. and Jaguar. Now jump to verse 42. So the tribe of Judah, they were naming the cities after themselves and after their forefathers. Come on. Libna. Libna was a city that was named after the tribe of Judah. Go ahead. And Ether. And Ether. Come on. And Ashan. And Ashan. Now when you add the T-I to that. Okay. T, it means people of the smoke. People of? People of the, the smoke. smoke. Okay. Yes, people of the smoke. So guess what? The tribe of Ashanti is biblical. Mm -hmm. He's not, we're not making this up. Everything could be found in the Bible. But like the deacons were saying earlier, you haven't been taught that. You haven't been taught that. You've been taught lies. Okay. Translate the right way. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Very soon, uh, we are going to open the phone line for the listeners to call in. If one or two have any question to ask, now on so what road or the abba now what be sir? Number no, Jetuho, a brand of Sunni, Bian Humana, Cabes, Mammy, no penny, Bian Humana, now on sweating me afraid, not yet no one come. Number no, a zero five zero six eighty nine five eighty nine five zero five zero six eighty nine five eighty nine five, and as a zero five zero two. Two five two four thousand zero five zero two five two four thousand. Number we me you know and I you know Eddie Juma. Now they can abayua, awaha, so abia. Okay. Yo, yes sir. Did I get the name right? Close. Okay. They can abayua, and they can Malaki, Malaki, and so awaha, and they were Captain Isaac, and so awaha. Uh, very soon we are going to open the phone lines. Uh, any uh, one or two that you want to add up, then we open the phone lines. Well, what I want to add is this. Uh, go back to Hosea. Now, you might ask yourself, what happened of people of Ghana? Why we are in the bottom? It's not, by the way, we're not picking on people of Ghana because we are the same people. Okay. We, all of us is, the, is brothers and sisters. Okay. We are from this, we are Jacob's sons. We're from the bloodline of Jacob. So, the same thing your guys going through here in Ghana is the same thing we blacks going through in America. It's the same thing we blacks going through in Haiti. It's the same thing we blacks going through in Central Mango. It's not different. We are the same people. What divides us is religion. Religion is of the devil. Some of you say I'm Catholic. Some of you say I'm Christian. Some of you say I'm Seventh Adventist. Some of you say I'm a Pentecost. I am this. Up. None of those in the Bible. Why people in Ghana is in the bottom? Why that the white man? Where is the devil? Why is that this <laughs> devil? can come here in Ghana, stole everything from y'all. It's a prophecy. And mm -hmm. God tell y'all, he read earlier in Deuteronomy 28, that here, here in Ghana, here in Haiti, we under a curse because we break God's laws. So let me, sh let me show you why, why quick what's happening here in Ghana. Hold this, this is what God said. Listen we, we, to this. We have Ghana. We don't have uh, different types of churches, Pentecostal or Roman Catholic, Presby. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have... You said you don't you have do. all of those. Oh, yes, you do have those. Mm -hmm. You do. You do you know? I just heard they're about to spend a hundred million. I just heard they're about to spend a hundred million dollars in Ghana to build a Catholic church. Okay. But why would why why the government allow them to spend a hundred billion dollars million dollars to build a church when we have poor people, we have single mothers who cannot feed their children? Does that make sense? That make no sense. <laughs> what what the church? Listen, you only have too many churches in Ghana. I only. These churches are only stealing the people money. Mm -hmm. Now you want to spend another hundred million build be be one of the biggest Catholic church in Ghana, which is of the devil, by the way, mm -hmm. because guess what the Catholic church is going to push? The Catholic church is going to push this on our people. 
This is going to destroy our people more and more and more in Ghana. Listen, take that money and give it to the poor people. We don't need a, we don't need no damn Catholic church here. We don't need no me a hundred million dollar church. Right. We should rather help uh, those uh, in terms of needy or the orphanage houses. Helping the people, taking care of the people. Take the money to help the people. The money, yeah. helping the people. The, the churches or cathedral. Exactly. Get oh. rid of those churches. Close them down. Shut the doors. Okay. They need to finish. Kaput. It needs to be done. Come back to God's words. Come back to this Bible. So we are Israel united in Christ, and we're here for you, Ghana. So I, I, let me correct that. That church is going to be a non-denominational de de denomination. Non denomination church. Is that way Catholic church? It still makes no sense. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's going all, to be a church religions. to push up mm -hmm. this devil right here on you mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with the scripture. This oh. is the problem, one of the problems here you guys got in Ghana. Hosea. You know what God said about your guys blood here in Ghana. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the... No. Hear, yeah. Go ahead. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. We are the children of Israel. Here in Ghana, we are the children of Israel. That's God right. said, hear this. Read. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Mm. God have a problem with the people here in Ghana. What is the problem? Because there is no truth, no there mercy, no truth, no, no, truth. truth. Mm -hmm. no truth. That's a lie. God said there is no truth here in Ghana. Read. No mercy. There is no mercy. Brothers killing brothers. We are brothers. There's no difference between me and you. We are brothers. Read. No knowledge of God. No in knowledge the land. of God. What mm. the knowledge? The law. The law. The law. Your, the problem here in Ghana, your guys not keeping God's laws. That's why you allow this garbage. The law. That's the problem God, God have with the people here in Ghana. Read. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing. And committing adultery, they break out and blood toucheth blood. All this sin we just mentioned, you can find him here in Ghana. That's right. All this sin, you can find him in Haiti. You can find him in, in America. You can find him in Santo Domingo. God have a problem with us as his children. Jump to verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We are God people. We are the one God sent Moses to live in Egypt. God said, we destroy for what? The knowledge is the law. We been destroy him, Ghana, because we refuse to keep God's laws. Read. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Because your guys here in Ghana rejected God's laws. I will also reject thee. Mm. God says he's going to reject you too. That God is going to reject the tree of Israel because we reject his laws. We break his laws. Trust the dead, please. Okay. Hold on, hold on. There's still more. Okay. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Because oh. we're supposed to be king and priest. We're supposed to teach God's laws. God said, because we don't keep these laws, he also going to forget our children. Because I see a lot of poor children walking down the street down here. Uh, that's, listen, it should not be so. Take that money, take that hundred million dollars, and give it to the poor. How about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I have a and then come on here. I'm telling you, I'm a young man. Say, I'm a young man. 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 I'm Sebi ya boy drama ye die wu ye bokro no konkonsa kunsu kunsu ni ade wa bra nyame abufo wo ye so no ye jasa no mo ni nyina eh ahoto betimi aba na obi a ye somo no no inti na masa ho chire we nyina e ba no eh ye nkomo na ye de ebre no so kwa na e konti e hwene mfa afrefo no kakra wo djuma die no so e bia na won so wa sem bisa so bisa mpenifo a wo betimi afre na ye no wa bon komo 0506895895 and that's a zero five zero two five two four thousand zero five zero. Okay, messages about my man and her name. You send messages in a bit and through zero five zero six eight nine five eight nine five. And that's a zero five zero six zero five zero six eight nine five eight nine five. My man and for offering you didn't come. Hello, hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. But you didn't ever be a cassette. I'm from Francis, I'm a Catafree Chrono. What do you mean? Francis, I'm a Catafree Okay, I'm from the Okay, I'm a submission and I say, you see, in the current world now, you want to, these things can never end. Let us let us not forget that we are we are in the end times. And then ask yourself, uh, you are preaching about poverty. What have you done to solve poverty? And then you are talking about church, solving poverty. The, the fact is that poverty 
as a whole phenomenon cannot be solved in just a GP like that. Individually have to do our portion. So let's not expect the church to be to to uh, to to be tackling such an issue. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 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 there is uh, uh, messages here. Uh, dance is like this one is from uh, Israel. I say all praises to the Most High God for the prophet, for the prophets giving us the understanding of the scriptures. Thank you for all your dedication. And another one here is Shalom leadership. I'm super. To see, I'm super excited to see the truth is being spread out fast. The people of Ghana will see the light mm. and experience the truth. That's right. And one here, bring out the Dickens. Oh, okay. Uh, he wants to see you on Facebook. Uh, okay. There is one here. Also, the churches are the synagogues of Satan. Burn, burn down the churches, please. <laughs> See the people are waking up. Okay, uh, let's let's talk to this scholar here. Hello, 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 hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. I want to welcome our brothers from the diaspora to Ghana. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank and you. Uh, we're happy with the message you're preaching. However. I would prefer if you do not uh, condemn churches. And if you do not... The yes, churches? Yes, okay. Uh, you just give us your message. Okay, let me ask you, you a question. A good, you let me ask you a, a question. Message. Let me ask you a question. Actually, I don't have a question, but I think uh, you made a reference that from Genesis 49 that Simeon and Levi are brothers. And the father mm -hmm. said that he wouldn't want to be in their council because their anger was something. And you were referring them to uh, Africans or some 15 and there. But then I know that uh, when they fought, uh, killed a particular uh, a community because of Dinah when she was raped, I pray that because of that, the father was not happy with what they did. And he was afraid, and uh, maybe we can read Genesis 34 with that, but we don't have to read. So I was a bit confused. And we were trying to link that up with the African situation. Thank for your call. And hello? Can I answer him? Yes, please. That guy who just mentioned. Mm -hmm. First of all, mm -hmm. a church is not a building. I'm going to repeat that again. A church is not a building. The Israelites are the church. The Israel are the church. We're going to read that. It's in the Bible. There is no place in the Bible where God said you can be a Catholic, you can be a Pentecost, you can be a, 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 a Muslim, you can be a Seventh Adventist. That's not in the Bible. That's men create religion. The church is the Israelite. We are the church. Not a building where you go, you sing in, dance, jump up and down. The pastor sleeping with a woman. The pastor sticking people money. That's not in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. But rather, we we gonna read it in the Bible. Okay. Let's, let's, let's read where the church is. Let's read. But the church is the Israelites. Oh. Yes, we are the church. We are the, the church. We are the church. Yes. The building is not a church. No, the okay. building's not a church. No. Okay. Let's read it. This is the book of Acts, chapter seven, verse thirty-eight. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. This is he, Christ. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. Who was in the wilderness? The children of Israel with Moses. We finish that. With the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sinai, and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us. Who received the oracles? Who received the love of God? Only the Israel that received the love of God. That's so right. God never gave the whole world his laws. He only gave it to the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, which is us here in Ghana. Open your eyes. A church is not a building. We are the church. The church is us, not a building. Mm. Yeah, we have one more. We have one more scripture because okay. it seems like a lot of people keep calling in and saying, "Don't offend okay. the pastors." I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna keep it frank and straight. 
We are in the business of offending. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are here to offend you. Okay, our job is to correct you. That's what it says in Isaiah 58 verse 1. God is all about offending you to repentance. This is Jeremiah chapter 23. I want one I and two. I think that one will be our last script because our time is up. Okay. Yes, yes, We're yes, going to yes. bring it out and I want you to translate it okay. for word, word for word. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Woe be to the pastors. Woe, woe, meaning destruction. Be woe un be to the pastors. Yes, that means destruction be unto the pastors. Come on. That destroy and scatter the sheep How? of my pasture. How are they destroying and scattering the sheep? Because they're not teaching you the right thing they're teaching you white man jesus they're teaching you religions go ahead saith the lord mm -hmm. therefore thus saith the lord god of israel uh -huh. against the pastors that feed my people come on you have scattered my flock uh -huh. and driven them away uh -huh. and have not visited them come on behold i will visit upon you the evil of your doing saith the lord so god has a judgment for all these pastors that are not teaching our people the right things you have not been teaching the laws of god here in ghana you have not been teaching our people that they're the israelites therefore god is offended by your doings and so are we okay so it's now it's time to repent and keep the commandments you should be offended you should be ashamed at your doings all right. Uh, translate. Yeah, translate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are blessed for time. We are blessed for time. My brain also said, yeah, sorry. Uh, we are going. Uh, we need to pray before signing out. Uh, then we wrap up on the show. Mm -hmm. So who is going to pray? You want to pray? Uh, you want me to do it? Uh, do that. No, let me read it. Go ahead. Read it. Okay. No problem. No problem. No, please ask. Please ask. Please ask. Please ask. Please ask. Hold on. Let me do it. Uh, then we are praying. Six. This is Ecclesiastes, the 36th chapter, mm -hmm. in the first verse. Mm -hmm. Have mercy upon us, O Lord God of all, and behold us, and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thy hand against your strange nations, and let them see thy power. As thou hast sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. And let them know thee, as we have known thee, that there is no God but only thou, O God. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Raise up indignation and proud wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. Let him that escape will be consumed by the rage of the fire. And let them perish that oppress the people. Smite and send of the heads of the ruler of the heathen that say, There is none other but we. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together, and inherit thou them. As from the beginning, O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called, about, uh, is called upon thy, by thy name, and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Zion with thine unspeakable oracles, and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning, and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. O Lord, hear the prayer of thy servants according to the blessings of Aaron over thy people, that all they which dwell upon the earth may know that thou art the Lord, the eternal God. Amen. Amen. I hope we are going to meet tomorrow, God permit, and we are yes. going to talk about uh, John 3.16. Absolutely. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, bless you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.